चैप्टर 11 प्रैक्टिकल हिंट्स ऑन द स्पिरिचुअल पाथ ट्रेनिंग ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स थ्रू पोस्ट आई हैव नो स्टीरोटाइप्ड प्रिंटेड लेसन इन योगा फॉर कोचिंग ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स थ्रू पोस्ट आई यूजली सेंड सम ऑफ माई बुक सुटेबल टू द टेस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आई गिव दैम लेसन थ्रू कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंस द लेसन आर वेल ग्रेडेड दे राइट टू मे अबाउट देयर डेली रूटीन वेलफेयर एंड प्रोग्रेस they maintain the spiritual diary and follow my 20 important spiritual instructions i help them with advice and remove their troubles and obstacles i send my thought currents of peace thousands of students in all countries have made wonderful progress through this personal attention for the advanced courses they come to the ashram and stay with me for some weeks or months and receive initiation they all like this kind of individual attention i do not take any fees from anyone for the training given in yoga and do not demand any money for their maintenance at the ashram invariably all students who come to me pay me liberally or take pleasure in voluntarily contributing their might to the progress of the institution and helping the society in its dissemination of knowledge through such acts they obtain chitta shuddhi and spiritual progress in the following pages are reproduced some of my typical letters to different aspirants delineating the methods of my training in the path of yoga the spiritual perspective i emphasize to all the moral and ethical ideals i ex- exhort others to emulate in short showing the way to lead the divine life way to peace revered brother swarg ashram 16th august 1930 your kind line thank you very much indeed get up at 4 in the morning have a meditation room under lock and key do not allow anybody to enter it have a gayatri picture the geeta etc in the room meditate on the gayatri repeat the gayatri mantra with meaning concentrate on the trikuti the space between the two eyebrows with closed eyes sit on padmasana try to sit for 2 hours continuously study the geeta regularly speak the truth at any cost control anger serve poor persons the sick and the saints spend some money on charity that will purify your heart don't join worldly persons serve love respect everybody give up ninda criticizing back biting fault finding tail bearing be humble be obedient speak sweetly you will enter into peace observe mona for 1 hour daily and 3 hours on holidays yours fraternally swami shivananda have strong thirst for knowledge i advise aspirants against emotionalism and impetuosity in taking to the path of renunciation but counsel diligent cultivation of a strong urge for spiritual life while yet in the world swarg ashram kutir 22 29 august 1930 om satchit anand you are the atma you are immortal be fearless assert the majesty of yourself free yourself from the deceptions of the mind and worldly objects my dear yogi may god bless you i am filled with infinite delight to peruse your line of the 21st instant you are a man of spiritual sanskars nurture them protect them increase them do not come to me if you can manage and if you are quite sure that you will not become a menace to society if you can control lust be a brahmachari till the end of life nastik brahmachari you are not rich how can you manage a family and children that will bar your spiritual progress mere juvenile enthusiasm will not do mere emotion, emotions will not do in the spiritual line it is not a rosy path it is full of thorns scorpions and snakes the path is rugged precipitous extremely difficult but easy for a man of the strong determination i must realize i will give give up life even this kind of strong thirst for knowledge is needed develop satvik virtues gradually patience to counteract anger contentment to check greed service seva bhav to destroy pride arrogance 
डेवलप ह्यूमिलिटी ट्रूथ स्पीकिंग टू दीक्षा बियरिंग हीट कोल्ड पेन लव ऑल बी काइंड टू ऑल नेवर बिकम इरिटेटेड एक्साइटेड कीप ए डायरी ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्रेस रिकॉर्ड एवरीथिंग लिव एमेज एमिड्स्ड डेवलप्ड पर्सनस विजिट द राम कृष्ण मिशन एंड सर्व द महात्मास सर्व एल्डर्स विद एंथुजियाजम लव एंड एफेक्शन डीप Clear your doubts, wishing you peace and beauty. Shoot yours, Shivananda. Hari Om Tat Sat Om Shanti. Get a copy of my yogic and Vedantic sadhana. In future, send me a reply postcard or postal envelope for my reply. Do not be hasty in leaving the world. Care of Vijaya Nagaram House Camp. स्लैश कैलकाटा ट्वेल्थ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन थर्टी ओम सच्चिद आनंद कम टू ऋषिकेश फॉर सम टाइम यू विल एन्जॉय द सॉलिट्यूड एंड द स्पिरिचुअल वाइब्रेशन अनडाउटेडली टेल माई नेम पीपल विल अकोमोडेट यू एंड सर्व यू हैव दर्शन ऑफ श्री स्वामी अद्वैतानंद जी श्री स्वामी तपोवन जी महाराज श्री स्वामी पुरुषोत्तम आनंद जी महाराज दे आर ऑल in close touch with me advanced souls do not be hasty in leaving the world the world is an arena for developing various sattvic qualities the world is the best teacher for those who want to be benefited remain for some time longer there earn and enjoy vairagya comes out of bhog then it will be strong steady and intense do not marry this is a different point that is a different point The world is not a hell it is all ananda when ego and rag dvesh die away change the mental attitude come and see all these places and mahatmas you will have inspiration lead a divine life when you are there the spiritual path is not all rosy it is full of thorns qualify yourself attain purity and spiritual strength through japa and meditation cheer yourself wishing you kavalya moksha swami shivananda हरि ओम तत्सत्वसी लुक बिफोर यू लीप द प्रिडिंग टू लेटर्स एड्रेस टू वन ऑफ माई डिसिपल्स वुड शो हाउ आई कॉशन एक्सपीरियंस अगेंस्ट एनी हेस्टी डिसीजन बट वेन आई फाइंड दैट वन इज एंडॉर्ड विद स्ट्रॉन्ग वैराग्य एंड अनशिकेबल डिटर्मिनेशन आई एम एट वंस फील्ड विद जॉय एंड डिलाइट ऑन दोज डेज वेन आई लिव्ड अलोन एंड हैड नो आश्रम ऑफ माई ओन आई वॉज वेरी रिलेक्टेंट टू हैव एनी डिसिपल बाय माई साइड I did not want anybody to come and stay with me. Hence in the case of the ever mentioned mentioned aspirant when I found that he had strong aspiration and unwavering will I felt that it would be better for him to stay in an active ashram so that he might improve there rapidly. Thus I preferred foregoing my own interest by not availing myself of the services of aspirants and always look to their own welfare and the progress of other religious institutions. Beloved self Your devotion towards God and religion will doubtless elevate you from samsara. May God bestow on you spiritual strength and power to attain the goal of life, God realization. Kindly join Sri Aurobindo Ashram or the Ram Krishna Mission. There you will improve a lot. I promise you. I assure you. Stick to the ashram for some years. You may come here for visiting. and not for permanent stay look before you leap think consider well the world is the best teacher you have to learn a lot do not be hasty and run away to the himalayan caves youthful buoyancy juvenile enthusiasm may not help you much this line is an arduous hazardous path you may not know how to spend your life usefully here your time usefully here i am only a common sadhu i may not be able to help you much further i do not make disciples i can be your sincere friend till the end of my life i don't like to keep persons by my side for a long time i give lessons for couple of months and ask them to meditate in some solitary centers in kashmir or uttarakashi i reiterate join a good ashram where you will have spiritual gain stick to the center bear difficulties the end is immortality infinite anand thai own self swami shivananda Cheer yourself be free courageous fearless you are nectar sun hari om tat sat develop patience speak the truth control anger develop the diksha serve love give forgive others speak a little speak sweetly snippets for evolution 
Here are some valuable instructions in tablet form succinct to the point and sorted out for immediate application. Swargashram 3rd October 1930 Fear not, grieve not, you are Satchit Anand, Rupa, Amrit, Atma, you are not this Jad body. May God bless you. Kindly go through, go through my book Mind, Its Mysteries and Control. The lessons will be of much practical use for progress in meditation. Save as much money as possible in these days money is needed even by sannyasi as there is lack of support from householders. Have these two important pleasure centers, study and meditation. Cut off all external pleasure centers. Search, understand, realize. Analyze objects, realize their true nature and abandon. Know thyself and be free. Always be self-centered. Pray and be virtuous. Aspire and draw. Negate body and assert Brahman. Tattva Masi never forget this. Shivananda. Unfold the latent divine. True to my advice, the aspirant joined the Ramakrishna mission and yet continued to be in touch with me. I did not deny him my constant care and instructions for evolution as I consider all ashrams my own and do not recognize any exclusive monopoly over any aspirant who approaches my approaches me for guidance. Swargashram Rishikesh, revered brother, Om Namo Narayanai, may God bless you. I have returned from a long Kalash trip. I am glad to hear that you have joined the Ramakrishna mission. My heartfelt congratulations. Stick to the ashram with leech-like tenacity. The ashram is your own. Feel this. You are bound to progress. You are the son of sons. You are hope of the world. You have taken a responsible gown. Unfold the divinity. May holiness, splendor, glory attend on thee. You have cut asunder all the earthly ties. Now you can proceed unhampered in your way. Stick to the mission and serve all your elders with respect and sincerity and disinterestedness. Speak the truth at any cost. Speaking the truth cannot harm anybody. It will give you spiritual power. Truth can be achieved only by speaking the truth. Control anger by developing patience, kshama, cosmic love, the service and daya. You must cultivate humility, magnanimity, audarya and courage. Six hours of study and six hours of meditation should go on uninterruptedly. uninterruptedly. That is my method. Forget the past. Live in the solid present. Give up all kinds of fancied expectations. Even if people persecute you, hate you, mock at you, keep quiet. Don't revenge. Study the Sermon of the Mount daily before you proceed to work. I shall co quote one passage. If you remember this once daily, you will have wisdom. Practice this unceasingly. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you and pray for those who despise and persecute you. St. Matthew The practice is difficult but must be done and can be done. This is being practiced by Mahatma Gandhi. This is the secret of his success. With regards and prem, your humble brother Swami Shivananda. Regeneration of the Lower Nature in spite of my reluctance and initial objection when the aspirant subsequently came to me and made a strong impression about his spirit of renunciation and adamantine willpower, I willingly initiated him into the order of sannyasa and he immediately plunged himself into the arena of the divine work, which was then in its initial stages and which was soon to assume gigantic proportions and astound the world with a tremendous whirlwind of spiritual revival and divine inspiration among millions of aspirants all over the world. Yet I never forget the object of life and the purpose with which one renounces the world and therefore repeatedly exhorted him to pay attention to practical sadhana and discipline and self-discipline. Shivoham Shivaha Kevaloham May God bless you. I have great hopes in you. You are a glory to India and the world at large. May the divine light, divine splendor and glory shine in you forever. Live in truth, feel truth, realize truth, disseminate truth. Regulate your energy, conserve it, utilize it when needed. Meditate well. Live in a closed room. Don't mix much. Do not multiply friends. One real and sincere friend is quite sufficient. Don't beg with the begging spirit. Command and get whatever you need. The whole world is your home. Prakriti and nine riddhis are ready to serve you with folded hands. 
control indriyas away from ladies be fiery don't become a lazy zenana vedantin or a mustache lady sanyasi there must be fire in every cell in every word i know you will do wonders within a short time read the upanishads and the gita master them well you are a zero in that direction you should have regular systematic study meditation and japa don't think i will study in uttarakashi when i am alone without work that is wrong that is foolishness you must have the daily habit that tomorrow will never come make hay while the sun shines we know the corn when the wind blows concentrate meditate live alone for some hours be polite never be arrogant have tolerance and patience manifest these virtues while talking watch every thought there is no play you have taken a responsible garb do you feel this away from ladies no joking and laughing with them these are all manifestations of lust only don't beg don't ask with the begging spirit command everything will come the whole world is your own home feel this feel this show me your report of your systematic sadhana method and discipline must be there in your daily routine scrutinize your motives destroy selfish motives crush all sorts of meanness become noble in every inch of your action don't fight for petty trifles give up back biting tail bearing regeneration of the asuric nature is imperative om sivoham the bane of sensual life i once again emphasize the importance of sadhana and the necessity of shielding oneself from the baneful effects of a sensual life don't look at the filth again don't ruin yourself you have sufficiently enjoyed a life of joy and bliss in the spiritual path what to speak of further glories if you blossom fully through yoga beware beware don't become a slave to your senses don't come out of your room stop all activities hide yourself in a room or come back to anand kutir at once introspect and meditate if you cannot resist moha it is better you leave the city at once proofs will take care of themselves i do not care for work at all if you are strong enough you may stay there for some time more and finish the work anyhow make arrangements for coming to rishikesh soon without ideal life resting in the indwelling interpenetrating presence sensuous life becomes a burden it is rent amount to brutal life the world is a dream the essence is the solid reality never forget this you are the atma akarta sakshi sadhana should be a daily habit The following are some of the important hints on the path of yoga which are culled from my different letters to aspirants and which will be found very useful to one and all for a correct knowledge of some of the practical aspects of the spiritual path. You should have regular systematic meditation, japa, study and service. Don't think I will study and meditate when I finish all my responsibilities when I am alone in the Himalayan caves. Live alone for some hours and study in the mind. Prepare now slowly for the life in seclusion. Nishkam Seva This does not require big funds if you are fit to serve humanity the lord will arrange everything for you get some useful medicines and distribute to the sick persons or nurse them nicely do not expect anything from anybody for the service you do give education to the poor boys in your village maintain yourself by getting alms from four or five houses live in seclusion do sadhana destroy manu rajya building castles in the air it is an enemy of peace do service according to your ability capacity and means as much as you can with the right mental attitude and spirit troubles through pranayam i have received similar reports of troubles from many students who try to awaken the kundalini power by forceful methods of pranayam and kriya yoga i pity them for their over enthusiasm and incomplete knowledge reduction or giving up of food may not help you at all the field must nicely be prepared by regular daily practice in the advanced stages you must have the personal guidance and supervision of the elders who have attained mastery and perfection in the path of yoga purity of heart congenial company correct understanding of the scriptures favorable atmosphere and environments charged with spiritual vibrations play a vital part in your quick success do not be hasty or impatient one sided development will not help you do not spoil your health by too much fasting that will weaken your system take plenty of energy giving easily digestible nutritious food and fruits and milk for some months breathe in and out very very slowly do not retain the breath kumbhak when you advance a bit move to a cool place during summer and have three sittings in pranayam follow the proportion 1 is to 4 is to 2 for inhalation retention and exhalation the benefits are incalculable it is a harmless exercise for advanced students overcome depression and gloom run in the open air do mild pranayam chant om sing with devotion dance in ecstasy 
depression will vanish soon. You are Anand Swarupa. Where is gloom and depression? They are mental creations only. Remain silent. You can gain more by silence. Soak a few badams, almonds overnight in water. Take them in the early morning with sugar candy. It is very efficacious as a brain tonic for sadhakas. Apply amalaka oil on the head. Take Huxley's syrup also. When you are agitated. Do not leave Japa and Sadhana even for a day. Adjust and adapt. Bear insult and injury. Learn to forget trifles. Tactfully move with, move with people. Train everyone in bhajan and kirtan. Create spiritual vibrations wherever you go. Then you will find peace, joy, happiness and prosperity. There will be joy in all faces. This is the way for harmony. When you are agitated and irritated, take to Japa or leave the place for some time. Love all and serve all. Avoid extremes in yoga. In yoga exercises, do as much as you comfortably can. Avoid extremes. Do not tax yourself. People in foreign countries find it difficult to do Padmasana, folding the legs in lotus pose and Shishasana, headstand pose. For prayers and meditation, you can have any comfortable position. You must select a fine pose in which you can sit for a long time comfortably. The only condition is that your neck and back should be erect. Close your eyes, breathe in and out very slowly and mentally repeat the mantra Om 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 and think of the divine qualities of the Lord. Now you will enter into silent meditation. You will enjoy great peace and acquire inner spiritual strength. What is actual yoga? Yoga does not consist in sitting cross-legged for 6 hours or stopping the beatings of the heart or getting oneself buried underneath the ground for a week or a month. These are all physical feats only. Yoga is the science that teaches you the method of uniting the individual will with the cosmic will. Yoga transmutes the unregenerate nature and increases energy, vitality, vigor and bestows longevity and a high standard of health. Try to increase the power of concentration. Japa will help you to have a one-pointed mind.